Hi, I'm Mike Evans, and I'm a doctor, and I've got three kids, Willa, Finn, and Angus. And they're like a lot of kids. They like to play sports. They're a bit accident prone. So why am I telling you this? Well, I wanted to talk to you about a thing that tends to happen to kids that uh, do play sports or have the, even just have the occasional accident. You've probably heard about it before because of a guy named Sidney Crosby or other famous people. And you see them on TV, and they look fine. I mean, they aren't wearing casts or or going for surgery, but they're telling you they're not fine. So today I wanted to talk to you about, you guessed it, concussions. Concussions 101. So let's start with the basics. What is a concussion? So a concussion is a knock on the head where you usually have some other stuff going on. So it could be a headache, confusion, blurry vision, feeling sick to your stomach, just or even just generally feeling weird. These are all signs that the brain's been disturbed a bit. You might even have gotten knocked out. And you don't have to lose consciousness to actually have a concussion. Um, but these are all things that can, can happen that shows that the brain's been disturbed. So, so what's different about a concussion? Well, I think three things. So firstly, the brain sits inside the skull. So when you smash it, it's actually most oftentimes protected. But sometimes if you hit it hard enough, the brain hits the inside of the skull and it can actually get bruised. And if you hit it hard enough, it can actually swing back or rotate and uh, get bruised on the other side of your brain. Secondly, when you twist your ankle or bang your knee, you might see some bruising or scrapes or swelling on the outside, but this isn't the case with your brain. It gets injured and nobody really knows. Thirdly, your brain is like mission control. It controls things like your balance, your mood, your sleep, your thinking, and your senses. So when it gets injured, there can be lots of things that can happen. So we discussed some of the classic ones before, like uh, headaches or neck pain or balance problems or blurry vision. But you also might have some symptoms that you may not have felt before, like being in a fog, finding it hard to concentrate, feeling sad or, or having lots of anxiety or worrying more than usual. You may even have trouble sleeping um, or maybe even just you're more sensitive to light or noise or just other people. Also, your brain holds on to lots of different files or memories. And sometimes when your brain gets rocked a bit, it's like, it's like a file cabinet that gets knocked over and the files get spilt onto the floor and thoughts get scrambled and sometimes the memory files just get lost so you might not even remember the accident or even that afternoon. So now we know more about what a concussion is, I want to get you to think about three other things. So number one is we don't want to make things worse. We know because the brain is hidden. We can see if there's a fracture in your skull or a bleed, but we can't even we can't see a concussion even with some of the cool machines we have now, like CT scans or MRIs. And we know if you injure your brain before it is healed, things get much worse. So we follow a protocol, a kind of official procedure, and we call it return to activity. So what we want you to do is just start, and if you have no symptoms or no, none of the things that I talked about at rest, then you can kind of go on to the next stage. And, and you can go for some light exercise like a jog, and if there's no problems there, you can go on to, um, if it was hockey, you could uh, uh, go skating. Um, and then we allow you to be yellow shirted if there's no symptoms. Uh, so what that, I mean by that is that uh, you can participate in a practice, but nobody can come into contact with you. And then if that works out, then you can go to a full contact practice. And if that works out, then you can return to play. So Sidney Crosby has gone through all these stages. And now we're just hoping that uh, he can hit the final stage, which is return to play. But if you have any symptoms or any problems with any of these levels, you have to drop down to the level before. And that's where you can get stuck sometimes. Um, so number two I wanted to talk to you about was it's very hard to know uh, how you will do. So when you have a concussion, it's important to know that with all the kind of negative news we've been hearing about concussions, that actually 80 to 90% are back in four to six weeks. The tricky part though, is it's hard to tell at the beginning. Sometimes people have kind of a light injury and they have lots of problems and sometimes the reverse is true. So like any other injury, it can be a bit frustrating. So you do have to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Third point, and my final point, is about communication, about talking with your parents, teachers, coaches, trainers, and friends, because it's hard to see concussions. People presume you're okay. So you need to be upfront about how you're feeling. Things like being in a fog or being anxious can be hard to put a finger on. So you don't need to dwell on it, but you do need to be clear and honest about how you're feeling. 
So take care of yourself if you have a concussion. Your brain is you. Everything you have got good at from riding a bicycle to playing soccer is stored in there. All your memories like a family trip or winning something are stored in there. All your skills about figuring things out for school or, or even in life are built into your brain. So you want to keep them running like a Ferrari. So make sure you're cleared to return to activity. Keep positive and share any concerns or questions you have with the people that care about you. And take care of that awesome brain of yours. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.